Hi everyone. Today I will interview such a elegant British lady thank in you. Japan. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you for coming, Beth. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're back in the same place. <laughs> it's yes. so hot this yeah. time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's summer. Very hot. It's okay. I want to get a bit of a tan. So <laughs> I'm too pale. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm sweating today. <laughs> so you are working in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I, I worked as a uh, office worker before six years ago. Okay. So it was very hard for me. Mm. So I wanna hear your opinions about okay. working uh, in Japan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So at first I worked uh, overtime every day when mm. I was an office worker. Uh, so how about your working hours? Is it long? It's difficult to really answer that question. Okay. Um, yeah, my working hours are long, but it really depends. Mm. I have a lot more freedom, I would say, flexi time. Mm. So, yeah, but we do often work a lot of hours. Mm. Um, but I think since coronavirus started, um, a lot of people just are not caring about the hours. People are thinking, uh, they want to get home before rush hour because mm. there's many people on the train mm. and then if you're working at home i mean there's less pressure right um but i've had the experience of working in a, a geishka company a foreign company and a japanese company um i think recently it's not as bad mm. uh, but it really depends on the company as well oh. but even in England, some people work like crazy overtime hours. Oh, how is uh, stress? <laughs> like, do you feel stress? Um, well, I basically work in a kind of like sales role almost. So, sales. yeah. Oh, okay. So I have like a sales targets. Mm. So this is the most stressful oh, okay. thing. Um, yeah. So I think if I'm working late. It's not because my company forces me, it's because I need to hit my sales target. Uh, yeah. It's like a norma in Japan. Norma, it's a like goal, mm. target. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, KPI, we KPI. call them. Mm. Yeah, 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 I see. And uh, maybe you work seriously, so you uh, achieve your target every time. <laughs> Every time, um, not during coronavirus, <laughs> oh. I would say it's uh, quite challenging. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about salary in Japan? Is it high or lower than Britain? Ooh, it's, this is a really difficult question because um, I think they're probably about the same because our economy is kind of similar, uh, but it might depend on the industry. For example, um, I imagine that automotive, like car industry, mm -hmm. may, maybe Japanese people have higher salary because oh, you have like, yeah, right, right, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, you have all those great companies. So um, I'm trying to think where England might I don't know what finances. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think it would depend on the industry, mm. but I, I would say I don't think it's that different. Mm. I don't think it's that different. Mm. Um, and it, it depends on the company. Right, right. Because if you compare Japan to other countries, maybe uh, third world countries or mm. something, then the oh. salary is different. But because. Japan and England are very similar. I would say it's uh, not so different. Yeah. Mm. So, in my experience, we went out for drinking sometimes mm. when uh, I was an uh, office worker. Yeah. Uh, how is your company? I've never really been forced to go out drinking with my current company. And my company is like mostly Japanese people. Oh. So, uh, no, but of course they've kindly invited me and sometimes, you know, I've not wanted to or sometimes I've wanted to. Um, but I think that in my previous company with foreigners, there was a little bit more of a pressure mm. in a foreign environment. Mm. But that was mostly from my peers, not from management. Mm. Uh, so, 
Uh, yeah, I think that I've never really had that issue, but I do have friends that have had that issue. Um, I think I've just been lucky. Uh, but yeah, well, of course we have to go out like drinking or like meal for like born and Kai or, you know, Christmas party or something mm -hmm. or, yeah. But apart from that, um, like, how do you say, it? we call it like SA on YouTube, like harassment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, I've never received that from any Japanese colleagues. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yet. Let's hope that never <laughs> yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's actually, it depends on the person. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, you have good and bad people in every country. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in England there's people pressuring people to drink as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you feel some problems about working in Japan? I guess the biggest problem that I would have to worry about is getting my visa renewed. That's about it. Like a re renewal on my visa. Oh, okay. But okay. Yeah. Um, apart from that, the actual working environment, um, I think there's one thing I noticed still happening is um, even though people aren't working as late because of coronavirus, I've noticed when um, some uh, people, they have nothing to do at work, but they will pretend to work. Oh. <laughs> I, I, this one time, like in one of my previous companies, like one of my first companies in Japan, mm. and the Japanese woman, um, I knew she had nothing to do. I knew her schedule was open. I saw her picking up boxes, moving them, picking up pen tray, moving it there, shuffling papers, move the box back. <laughs> and I was like, she's just moving things to look busy, but she's actually doing nothing. And this was like m my first year in Japan. So this was a culture shock for me. Oh. Yeah. It was a foreign company. Uh, yeah, well, this, company. this was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Japanese, mm. Japanese. Oh, okay. So my first one's Japanese, mm. then Gaishke, then Japanese. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Totally, you feel comfortable working in Japan? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it's really lovely working in Japan. It's comfortable, it's safe. Um, I think that, you know, things are changing as well in companies. Um, I know you hear rumors about um, maybe uh, overtime, SA, uh, gender equality, maybe power harassment, these kind of topics. Um, but I, me personally, I've uh, only experienced serious issues um, actually with my foreign employer, not my Japanese employer. So everyone has different experiences and I think it doesn't matter on the country. Uh, just some countries maybe allow it more or maybe, the, maybe uh, for a while uh, Japan didn't have a system mm. to stop it mm. or control it. Mm. Uh, this, this is the only issue, you know. Mm. Um, maybe the labor law wasn't so strong or mm. uh, strict. But now there's a lot of support for Japanese people, mm. right? A lot of support. Yeah, a lot of yeah. support. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's a great country to work in, guys. <laughs> okay. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you for sharing your opinions. Oh, thank you for listening to my opinions. Yeah. Um, I'm grateful your followers want to know my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's doing YouTube as well. Mm. And, uh, and uh, she's posting many interesting videos. Please subscribe to her channel. Thank you. Yeah. So, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.